Japan, as the only country ever subjected to a nuclear attack, is deeply conscious of the dangers of radiation. Yet its government chose unilaterally to release contaminated nuclear wastewater into the sea without the consent of its neighbours. Effectively, this exposed other countries and regions, among them China, Russia, the Republic of Korea and the Philippines, as well as the Pacific Island nations, to the risk of nuclear contamination. In order to meet the regulatory standards for discharge, Tokyo Electric Power employs an advanced liquid processing system to treat the contaminated wastewater. Although the company claims that the system eliminates most of the radioactive isotopes in the wastewater, it accepts that the radioactive tritium is not removed. Instead, it has promised to reduce the concentration of tritium to one fortieth of that permitted under the government's safety standards. However, Tokyo Electric Power stands accused of falsifying data and concealing safety issues at the Fukushima plant, and this casts serious doubt on the safety of the treated water discharged into the sea. Basically, if you look at tank by tank, I did this a couple of years ago looking at their data, not mine, but I believe the results, but what they tell me is that each tank is quite different. So one might be very high in tritium, but low in cesium, or low in cesium and high in strontium-90. and so there's a lot of variability and why that concerns me is if you haven't analyzed all of the tanks and what you show me are levels that can be a thousand, a hundred thousand times different between tanks, how do you know what you have that's going in the ocean to plan for? Like how much do you have to dilute this? How long will it take? Ken Busela is an oceanographer at Woods Hole Oceanographic Institution in the United States. Over the past decade, he and several colleagues have paid regular visits to Fukushima to investigate the contamination of the seawater around the Daiichi nuclear power plant. They analyze tens of thousands of seafood samples a year, say, for their monitoring program. This is only 1,000 tanks. <clears throat> there are something like 50 main forms of radioactivity isotopes of concern. Often they're just looking at seven or eight. They're not doing the full suite. The Geomar Helmholtz Center for Ocean Research is the world's leading institution in marine research. It conducted a simulation experiment on the discharge of radioactive substances. The results showed that the powerful currents along the coast of Fukushima could spread radioactive materials to most of the Pacific Ocean within 57 days from the date of discharge. Oceanographers are also concerned about radionuclides accumulating in the cells of some organisms. In 2021, Professor Wang Yu at the College of Marine Life Sciences of Ocean University of China and her team carried out a simulation experiment to see how cesium, a typical nuclide, would impact marine life. This cell, 比方说性腺,比方说消化腺等等。So what happens if humans are exposed to the contaminated marine organisms or the contaminated marine environment? 那么生物,海洋生物,通过这种吃与被吃的这种关系呢,会结成一个复杂的食物链和食物网。那么其实在这张链,在这条链或者网的顶端,就是人类。